Hello everyone, welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. Could I be more excited for today's video? The answer is no, because today is finally the day that we get to look at the new Friends Polly Pocket. So here it is. Ah, take a look at this box. We have Polly Pocket Collector up there in the top, Central Perk of course in the background, and all six friends here in the front. Phoebe, Ross, Rachel, Chandler, Monica, and Joey. The box is a little dinged up even though Oh, I think this was the most protected Polly Pocket set I've ever gotten. It was inside an Amazon box, inside a Mattel box, with even little cardboard protectors on the corners, but things still happen. Really hard to show this because the box is so big, but on the side we just have the central perk window and the two double doors on the other side. On the back we have another window, and here we have what looks like a chalkboard sign. It says, when six neighbors living in New York City go tiny, they find out that life's big adventures are best faced in the company of friends. How cute is that? I do want to draw your attention to this little thing down here in the bottom corner. It says 90s Go Tiny series. That is very interesting to me. I figured there would be more mashups of shows or maybe movies with Polly Pocket, but the fact that it has its own series name, it's very intriguing to me and I can't wait to see what else they come up with. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for this set though. This is about as good as it could get for me. Polly Pocket and Friends, two of my absolute favorite things ever coming together. It's a magical day. Let's go ahead and slide this off. It just slides right off. And here we are. Still, it's so big I can barely show it. But here it is. If you didn't want to open this, it would be awesome to just display it like this. I can't keep this in the box though. On the back of the box, we just have some of the scenes that you can set up in this set. But I think that's enough talking for now. Let's get into this set, if I can figure out how. Oh, I really didn't want to rip the box, but I did. do want to keep the box. It's kind of hard to open unless I'm just doing something really wrong here. I think I got it. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, how to get this out without breaking anything. See how cute that is? Adorable. Can't believe I'm actually here. I can't believe this day has finally come. I mean, I haven't really been waiting that long, I suppose, but just the fact that I am here opening a friend's ooh, Polly Pocket is too good. It's too good. A lot of loose pieces. Pieces are rolling away. I do not want to lose anything. Whew. Okay, it was a struggle and a half to get that out of the box, but we're here. Now, where I'm looking, the cup looks more blue, but it's actually more purple. Hopefully it's coming through purple for you. As you can see, it is just a big coffee mug with the Central Perk logo right on front. It even has a handle and everything. So down below, it is completely hollow. So it just stands on the front and the back of the mug there. On the back, ooh, a brand new Polly Pocket logo, Polly Pocket Collector. These are exciting times we're living in, people. And of course, at the top, it is made to look like coffee. It's not a massive set, no bigger than your typical new Polly Pocket sets. The finish on it is a little splotchy. I don't think that's from me. Wait, maybe it is. Huh, never mind. Except for that scratch. That scratch is not from me. So it doesn't open up flat. Here we are, guys. We are in Friends. Tiny, tiny Friends. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's just fold out everything. That folds out that way. This folds out here. Let's start at the top as we always do. So at the top left, we are in Joey and Chandler's apartment. We have their two brown Barca loungers, which both spin, of course. We head over here, we can see the back of their apartment where they have the couch and the coffee table, the door into their bathroom. We have a spot for a doll here to stand and you can also move them back and forth from the kitchen to the living room. In the show, the counter would kind of continue out here into the middle of the floor, but I guess that would take up a lot of space here in the playset, so they got rid of it. We have their microwave, their stove, and their refrigerator and some cabinets up here. 
I do wish they had included the Magna Doodle on the back of Joey and Chandler's door. It was always fun to see what message was written on there in the episodes, so it would have been nice if that had made it to the playset. But we also get two more spots for characters to stand here, as well as a couple of pegs for other accessories. Let's see what they have up here. We see some paper towels, a tea kettle, and of course some cereal and looks like noodle boxes above their fridge. Oh, you can even see their dartboard right there. Ah! And the doors even swing open. Of course, it has 19 on it. If we head out of their apartment, we are, of course, in the hallway. We can see the stairs back there going downstairs and upstairs. The light fixture, the exit sign, the window, the radiator. Oh, it's so awesome. Guys, I'm having a moment <laughs> to, like, be able to shrink down and be like I am in the Friends set. This is just, this is incredible for me. Okay, so heading to the right, we get to apartment 20, of course, Monica and Ray. Rachel's apartment. Now we can't open it this way because there's just not enough space, but on the inside, of course, we have the picture frame that goes around their little peephole. So here we are in their living room. We have a white couch, a brown coffee table, and the big white chair back here. You can't really sit on that one, but it's cool that they gave it a little bit of depth and dimension. We also have two spots here to stand. In the background, we do get a couple of the cabinets from the kitchen, and we can see the kitchen back here with the table and the mismatched chairs. We can see the refrigerator, a little bit of the counter there. And of course we can see the green door back here. This is the closet. Spoiler alert if you've never seen Friends. Turns out even though Monica likes everything to be very neat, she does need a place to keep all of her junk and that mystery closet is exactly where she keeps all of her stuff. We also see the big window back there with an area to sit, another table and chair. And of course this would lead off to Monica's room and and Rachel's room would be over here. But instead, we get the balcony. If you go over here towards the green door and out the window, you would come out onto this balcony. I'm so happy that they added the balcony. I love that episode of Friends where they have a blackout. I believe that episode, they decided to have all of the New York-based shows during primetime have a blackout. Friends did it. Mad About You did it. I think the only show that didn't do it was Seinfeld. They just couldn't write it into the episode or something. Something? I don't remember. But I love that episode because Ross is out on the balcony. He was trying to talk to Rachel and a cat jumped on his back while the others are in the living room playing the guitar and singing. And you can just see Ross and Rachel struggling through the window. It's a great scene. Anyway, you also get a spot to stand out here on the balcony. Now we move down into the lower portion of the compact, which is quite massive. The apartments didn't take up a whole lot of space. Most of the space takes place in Central Perk. So over here at the left, we see the brick wall and a menu sign. Of course, we have all of the coffee equipment here on the counter. We see what looks like a couple of bags of coffee beans or coffee grounds. We do have one spot to stand here behind this counter, which also has a peg on it for an accessory and a little moving pink cup. So you can slide the cup around on the counter. We also have another spot here to stand as well as one in front of the counter. See in the background, just latte signs, some lights, the surface sign over here. We have the little table with one blue coffee mug on it and two stools here. There's always people back here sitting. Rarely did our friends sit back here, but we did see them there a couple of times. And of course we have this really cute rug here on the floor. Over here we have the double doors into Central Perk along with a little bench here and we have a spot here for an accessory. We have a purple sliding stand for a character so they can slide back and forth through Central Perk. And of course we have the big Central Central Perk window here with a couch and of course we have the stage here with a spot for Phoebe to stand so she can stand there and play her guitar and sing for all of us. But of course, Central Perk wouldn't be complete without the iconic orange couch. Here it is looking cozy as ever. I love that the couch and the cushions aren't one piece. They actually made the cushions look very cushiony and cozy by making them a separate piece. And we also have two spots to stand here in front of the couch. And of course, we also have the brown chair here and the big green chair over here. And we have a rug right here with one, two, three pegs for accessories.
I cannot express how happy this set makes me. I am in love with it. I think the quality is great. I did notice a couple of things, just a couple of corners of stickers peeling up, but it looks like this one has kind of already resolved itself. Over here in this corner, you can see that sticker is just a little wrinkled, but nothing too bad. But now that we have looked at the set, it is of course time to look at accessories. So our first accessory is the Central Perk coffee table. It is green and we have these big coffee mugs in orange, yellow, and pink. Does anybody remember that episode with Phoebe's psychologist boyfriend, Roger, and the comment he made about these mugs? Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. And we also have a brown plate on here that looks like we maybe have either three cookies or three muffins. And of course there are holes on the bottom to fit into pegs. Let's go ahead and place our coffee table right here. There we go. Next we have a very small simple brown table. This also goes in Central Perk. It goes right here next to the coffee table. Next up again for Central Perk is this adorable cake display stand. It is silver and the top of course is clear but what's really really cute about this piece is that the top actually comes off and you see a little yellow cake. Absolutely adorable. Really easy to lose I'm sure but so cute. And we will of course put this in its rightful spot right here on the counter in Central Perk. Oh no, the top came off. Get back on. Ah, come back here. Next we have a black amplifier. This of course is going to go on the stage in Central Perk. And we also have this silver microphone on a stand. This unfortunately isn't going to clip on any peg. It's just going to kind of stand there. This is probably the cheapest piece in the set, but can't win them all. We'll just set this right here. To go along with our amplifier and microphone, we of course have Phoebe's guitar. We will just set this on the stage for her. Well, next we have one of the cutest little accessories. We have Joey and Chandler's foosball table. The table is silver and you have the little red and blue men that actually flip so that they can kick the ball if there was one, which there isn't, but if there was. This of course goes in their apartment. There we go. Also for Joey and Chandler's apartment we have Chick and Duck icons. We'll put them on the sliding spot here so that they can roam around the apartment. And our last accessory before we look at the characters is the turkey with the little hat and the giant glasses that first Joey puts on his head and then Monica puts on her head. Now I thought from the pictures that this was going to be a complete piece that you could put over their heads, but it turns out it's just like a little mask, which is fine. Probably easier to put on and take off than the way I was thinking but how cute is that? Now we finally get to the six friends. So we will start it off with Phoebe. Here she is wearing a long blue dress and a white shirt. I think they did a pretty good job at getting the likeness. I mean obviously the faces aren't really going to look like them because it's just your classic vintage style poly faces. But she has eyelashes and she looks very cute in her outfit. The hair is a solid plastic not silicone like the new Polly Pocket. Not quite sure how to put this on. It came with it already on. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it off. There we go. Wait, is Phoebe left-handed or right-handed? Now I can't remember. Oh well, for now she is left-handed. Next we have Joey in probably a leather jacket I would have to assume. White shirt, gray pants, and black shoes. I think they did a pretty good job at making this look like Joey. I think most of these kind of represent the friends from more like season one. Next up is Chandler. This is definitely Chandler season one with his black vest, blue shirt, khaki pants, and brown shoes little bit of a paint mishap down there on his base, but an adorable little Chandler. I love that Chandler and Joey fit so well in these chairs. They don't fall out, so you can spin them around and around. Next up we have Monica. She is wearing a red shirt, blue pants, and white shoes. Now we get to Ross. I think it's hilarious that they put him in his salmon shirt. This is the only one that doesn't resemble more of the first season. This is definitely later on in the show where he has that salmon shirt, but I think it's pretty hilarious that they put him in it, so I'm not complaining. He also appears to be wearing some khakis and brown shoes. 
And last we have Rachel. Of course, she has the classic Rachel haircut. And it looks like she's wearing what she probably would have worn when she was working at Central Park. A blue shirt, a black skirt, and black shoes. And if you are wondering if vintage Polly could fit in this set, I mean, she will fit in the slots for their base, but she's a little small, so she doesn't fit snugly. She can, of course, hang out with them on the couch, though. As for the new Polly Pocket figures that are done in the vintage style, they definitely can fit in the slots. Also, with the modern Polly Pocket dolls, since they have these holes on their feet, they can fit on the pegs in the set, though they are a little bit taller than everybody else. But they do fit on the furniture just fine. And if you're wondering if all of the pieces fit inside of the set with it closed, have no fear. You can even keep the coffee table in its spot and the foosball table here. I think the only thing you have to take off is the little cake stand from the counter, but everything should fit perfectly. So there you go guys, the new Friends Polly Pocket set. Now I pre-ordered this set on Amazon. It was not cheap, it was $50. But to have a special Polly Pocket set like this, since I am a huge fan of Friends, I did not mind paying that amount at all. Right now the only place I know that you can find it still for around $50 is entertainmentearth.com. On Amazon, eBay, or Macari, you're going to be looking at spending at least $100. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. It's actually Friday night when I'm recording this, and this video needs to go up tomorrow morning. So I need to go and edit this. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.